Hi guys and welcome back to Yashu with Crypto News today. We finally started to see some more news on other stuff and not only FTX and I'm really happy about it. It means that that story is still there but it's dying out a lot. People are starting to focus on more positive stuff, how to improve crypto and much more. Let's start with prices guys. Let me hit record right here and we're in. Bitcoin pretty much stable 16500 ethereum went above 1200 compared to two days ago bnb up four percent at 314 and you will see why in a second chronos why chronos sometimes they bring it up because they were at risk a few weeks ago they are still surviving but they are down we were at 10 cents a few weeks ago and now we are under we're around six cents, I believe. Uh, yes, six cents. Now on to our article. We're gonna start with Binance allocates another one billion dollars for its crypto recovery fund. Binance created a crypto recovery fund uh, to avoid companies, important companies, to fail. The big ones, the important ones that kind of help crypto to grow. So this is good news. Now it went from one billion to two billion, which is good. More funds means more companies they can save or bigger companies they can save in case something happens. They also, let's say, partner up in this fund with other companies like Aptos and Jump Crypto. With that said, we have another company coming up here, Matrix Sport, uh, raising another 100 million for a 1.5 billion valuation. This is a crypto lending platform and they also do some special trading. And another good news from this company, so we said a 1.5 billion dollar valuation, they have a very bullish, uh, let's say, strategy with Bitcoin, which involves buying it throughout 2023 and writing call options, meaning they are betting on Bitcoin to grow in 2023, which is good. The more money flows into positive Bitcoin growth, the more it is likely to happen. So that's good news in general when we have another fund investing and hoping for Bitcoin to grow, kind of like ARK with Katie Woods. Last but not least, Wrapped Bitcoin loses its peg after the FTX crash. So Wrapped Bitcoin is a, um, a Bitcoin, how do you call it? Uh, derivative uh, that is traded on the ethereum uh, let's say blockchain and it lost its peg with bitcoin because of the whole volatility will it go back to it we don't know now onto crypto news dash 2 trades ico raises seven million dollars why am i mentioning these guys i mentioned them two weeks ago uh, there were a three million dollar valuation they now grew at seven million this is a crypto signal trading platform so kind of like uh, advanced uh, fintech and uh, seems like people are interested in using it. So we'll see how that goes. Why arbitrage is a solid crypto investment strategy in 2023. I chose to pick this um, um, article right here because many found their arbitrage is, is not profitable anymore. Arbitrage is when you buy a crypto in one state and sell it in another because there's a difference in prices of the two and you profit from the difference of the two. There are platforms that do it automatically uh, because there was so much adoption in the strategy. That's pretty much how FTX started in the first place uh, when they still were profitable. Um, we thought that arbitrage didn't exist, but uh, I saw a few articles uh, lately that said that it still exists. Uh, I checked prices across different states and the arbitrage is there. It's all about uh, what is the transaction cost versus what is the difference in prices among the same crypto in different states. According to these guys, it still works uh, and you can use a special platforms that do it automatically for you. I will not mention the platforms because I don't want to do advertising in this case. Harvard Research paper urges government and central bank to add Bitcoin to reserves to hedge sanction risk. This one's interesting. So uh, normally central bank add gold to the reserves to hedge against inflation. But now there's another risk that is coming lately. And we saw it, for example, with uh, Russia, which is sanction risk. If you get sanctioned by the rest of the world uh, and you have funds in banks across the rest of the world, those money, that money is blocked. You cannot really access it. Now, if you have your reserves in Bitcoin, on the other hand, uh, you have it on a wallet. So unless it gets hacked, which is unlikely if you have it stored in a hard wallet or something, uh, you should be good. You should be always able to access that money no matter what. So because of that, and this makes sense, uh, Bitcoin should be a good reserve to have as let's say a questionable central bank uh, to protect yourself uh, from sanctions. 
Now on to the last uh, article newspaper here. Binance Proof of Reserve is pointless without liability, Kraken CEO. This is the first time we now see another CEO going against Binance uh, because for now, in the past three weeks, we was Binance trying to attack everybody else. What Kraken is saying is, yes, your proof of uh, assets is good. You're showing that uh, you have a certain amount of money, but what are your liabilities? If you have $1 billion in Bitcoin in your reserve, that's nice. But if you have $2 billion in loans, uh, it's a little less nice. Does that make sense? So uh, it's kind of calling, the Kraken CEO is calling for companies to release, yes, the reserves, but also the liabilities uh, for people to match them against. Kind of like uh, public companies have to do it uh, on the financial statements on a quarterly basis. Uh, registered Canadian crypto exchange, CoinSquare suffers data breach. Unfortunately, we have another one of these little, pretty big things that we don't want to happen because it brings insecurity in the crypto world, but it happened. We'll see how that plays out, how they're gonna save the data, how they're gonna save the money of the customers. SEC chair crypto oversight strategy question as ecosystem collapse. So Congressman Tom Emmer went against uh, uh, Mr. Gensler. Gensler, I believe, is the guy, I. Please double check this. So Gens, I believe, was also involved uh, with uh, uh, Bankman's uh, family. And uh, Tom Emmer went against him saying that uh, the oversight of the crypto world was a little inconsistent among, among companies. They should have something more, let's say, linear across everybody, but also not too complicated to, to incentivize the crypto world. This article is very, let's say, it's not really detailed. Uh, there's mostly tweets. Uh, it's just simply showing that um, Congress people are trying to do something, it seems. Last but not least, American regulators to investigate Genesis and other crypto firms uh, for doing questionable things uh, with retail investors. Again, very basics. We have no plans to file bankruptcy immediately. This is Genesis. Uh, yes. Uh, but uh, they kind of got a little, let's say, interested in the fact that Genesis uh, went almost insolvent so quickly after FTX. So they're trying to they're, they question what happened behind, the, let's say, the scene and uh, are trying to investigate it. This is more happening on a state level, not a federal one. We'll see if it goes on a federal one too. Guys, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next update.